All right, guys, welcome to the second half of your summer lesson, starting with something today where some of it might be old, but I'm telling you, there is something in here that is new for everyone, and I think it's really awesome, and it's a lot easier to work with than what you probably worked with last year. So what we're going to be doing is um, what we did last week was actually like looking at graphs and looking for the slope or looking at an equation and looking for the uh, slope. Uh, but this week, um, we're going to work backwards. So the idea now would be that I would either take a um, graph and try to make an equation that goes with it, or to um, take like information about a graph and make an equation. So um, you don't really need to add anything to this box because that's pretty much it. We're going to be um, trying to put an equation. And maybe we should just put that. Try to put an equation. with either a graph or a description. That's going to be the goal of this whole video, okay? And it's going to be tricky for some of you, probably a lot of you actually, and do not get frustrated. If you get frustrated, um, once you're trying the practice problems, you know, feel free to just watch the solution video early if you get stuck and maybe it'll give you a hint as to how to do the rest. So there's three formulas that we're going to be using today back and forth. And these three formulas, I was like totally not joking here. You need to memorize these for the next six years, uh, ha ha, but not really. You're going to need these formulas. Now, slope-intercept form is the one you know. This is what you dealt a lot with last year, where this was your slope, and this was your y-intercept, okay? And um, that one is just one that you probably know. Uh, slope is another one that you might know. And the formula for slope is the difference in y's over the difference in x's. And what that pretty much means is that you just subtract the y's. Um, and on the bottom you subtract the x's. And so that might be another one that you had to practice with last year. This one in the middle, though, is the new one. And you might have seen it, but it would have been briefly last year. I'm going to use the heck out of it today. Point slope form. Y equals M times X minus X1 plus Y1. Write that down. We'll talk about all the parts. So with this point slope form equation, notice you still have the M. So right here, this is still going to be your slope just like it is in the other equation. But here there is no B. There is no Y intercept. Instead, you have an X1 and a Y1 right here. So this is going to be the point that you plug in. That's why it's called point slope form. You're going to plug in a point back here and you're going to plug in the slope right there and then you're going to be done. You're going to have your equation. So let's jump right into these and so you can see how to practice with them, okay? All right, so write an equation in point slope form Okay, point slope form, so we're looking at this one right here, given a slope of one fifth and the point one negative five. All right, so what I would do is I would start by just recopying this equation and then we'll figure out where we need to plug stuff in, okay? Now it's already told us that the slope is one fifth, okay? So in the place of slope down below, I'm going to put the one-fifth, okay? So the M is slope, and that's a pretty easy one right there, all right? Now, I, notice I just re brought down my Y. I'm also just going to bring down this first X because you don't plug anything in for this X and Y. You're only going to plug in to the things that were underlined up here. So the X1, Y1 is where you plug in, and the X1, Y1 is given to you. So underneath this point right here, you can write if you want, this is x1, and then the y is y1. Now they're labeled with the little ones because just to say, this is the first point that I see, or that they're giving me. So it's like the x of a point and the y of that point. So that's kind of how that works. Um, so now I'm going to recopy that minus sign that's right there, and then I'm going to plug in my x1. Okay, so x1 is a 1. 
going to recopy that, recopy the plus sign, and now my y1 is a negative 5. So this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is your equation in point-slope form. And since they want it to stay in that form, you are done. We're done. We just plug those two in, and we are finished. Okay? Um, now, on the next one, we're going to do write an equation in slope-intercept form. Okay? So slope-intercept form means that we need to start with this equation. So you're just, I'm just looking up at the boxes above for which equation that it wants, and it's giving me a slope of one-half, so it's giving me the m is one-half, and the y-intercept is three, so the b is three. So here's the deal, guys. If they straight up give you the slope and the y-intercept, it's called plug in those numbers and quit. That's all you have to do. Recopy the y. Um, m is one half, recopy the x, the b is plus three. And that would be your equation and you are finished. There's no need to do anything else. The next one is when it gets a little bit trickier, okay? This says to write an equation in slope intercept form, okay? So it wants that form, but it's gonna give me a slope of four, so it's still giving me the m, but and now it's giving me a point of, a, of one four. And just like up here, when it gave me a point up here, I labeled the point x1, y1. And this is kind of a mix of the two formulas that we just did. So the question becomes like, what do I do? Because they did not give me the y-intercept, okay? So what I do on these problems is a little bit different than probably most teachers are going to show you, but my way is easy. Let me repeat, my way is easier, I think, than what they're going to show you. So what I do is I actually start with the other formula. I start with point slope because they gave me a point and a slope. So I start with this one. And what I'm going to do is through the magic of math is I'm going to turn this one into this one, okay? And it's easier than it seems. Let's just plug in like we did before, okay? The 4 would go in for the M. And then the X1, Y1 is going to be these numbers that are right here. So I'm going to recopy the X, recopy the minus. My X is a 1. Recopy the plus. My Y1 is a 4. And that would be the answer in point-slope form, okay? Now, it didn't want point-slope form. It wants it in this form. So here's what's super cool about this, guys. If you take this equation and simplify it, it will turn into this form, okay? Now, by simplify, all I mean is uh, you know that when there's a number out front parentheses, you can distribute, right? So that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to distribute, distribute, and then add that 4, okay? So y is equal to 4x minus 4, and then I've got a plus 4 at the back, okay? Now, once I do this, those two numbers at the back, you can combine. So what is a negative 4 plus a positive 4? Well, that's just a 0, right? So I now have y equals 4x plus 0, and I now have my equation in this form right here, okay? My slope is four, my y-intercept is zero. So just by distributing and combining like terms, it will turn into this for you. So just what's most important is what is given to you in a problem, because whatever's given usually dictates the equation that you should use, okay? All right, cool. So the last one is like pulling it all together, but also stepping it up a notch, because now they've just given me two points. So if they've given me two points, the first one I see, I'm going to label with x1, y1, just like I did everywhere else on this paper. But now they've given me a second point. So if I want to label this one with an x and a y, I have to be careful because I've already used x1, y1. So this is the second point I see. So I'm going to use x2, y2 for the second point. So I label these up with ones and twos, and the reason for that is if they want slope-intercept form, once again, I'm going to need my slope at some point, okay? 
And um, I, so that's, that's the trick on this one. You've got to find your slope first. So our equation for slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I'm just going to plug these numbers into those spots, okay? The y2 is negative 4. I'm going to recopy that minus. The y1 is 4. On the bottom, x2 is 2. I'm going to recopy that minus, and then the x1 is 1. So that's the importance of labeling these first. Then when you stick them in this formula, it's a whole lot easier. Now what's negative 4 minus 4? Well, that's the same thing as plus a negative 4, right? So negative 4 plus negative 4 is negative 8. 2 minus 1 is 1. So my slope is negative 8. Okay, so that's awesome. So now I have a slope and I have a point. So if I have a slope and a point, I'm going to do just like I did right here. And I'm going to start with y equals m times x minus x1 plus y1 and plug in the stuff that I know. My slope I just found, it's negative 8. My x is an x and I recopy that. My x1 is a 1. My y1 is a 4, okay? So I have the answer in point slope form, but this did not want point slope form. It wanted slope intercept form. So now I have to keep going to do the distribute, distribute, whatever, okay? So what is negative 8 times x? Well, that's negative 8x. What's negative 8 times a negative 1? That should be a positive 8. And then I recopy the plus 4 that's at the back. Okay, so can any of these go together? Uh, well, these two can because it's an 8 plus 4. They're both normal numbers. So y equals negative 8x plus 12. Now I'm finished because I definitely have my y equals mx plus b. And that's what this wanted from the beginning. So like I said, a lot of information. It might be kind of tricky, but I really think this way is a lot easier than the way uh, you may learn in class. And uh, I'm going to show you in tutorials if I haven't already. Um, I'll show you the other way, but this way is way easier and I want you to have this as a backup. Okay. All right. Give those homework problems a try and they will take a while. So give yourself a little bit of time. This will be uh, one of the more time consuming assignments just because this takes a long time. And we'll see y'all later.